Hey everyone, welcome back to TK's Tech Talk. I'm TK and this is TTKK or the Trusty Kitchen Knife and we are back for yet another unboxing video. And before I start the unboxing, just want to say if you are finding my content useful, please do feel free to subscribe. It really does help me to continue making content like this, which can help everyone. So I've bought this Silverstone SG13, the model number is SST SG13 uh, from Amazon here in the UAE and it's on for a great price at the moment, something like 80 dirham, which is about 16 pounds UK money, which might be about $20 US money. So for a case which is from Amazon or from a retailer, I think it's a great price for a ITX, it's a mini ITX case. And the only controversial thing, and I'm guessing that's probably why it's so cheap, is because this case is pink. So we're about to find out exactly how pink it is. So give me a second, let me just adjust my camera and we'll start unboxing. Okay, so I hope this provides a better view of the box. Um, I might have to adjust again if you can't see, but for now, we're just gonna open the box up and you might have seen, I have a slight breakage in my knife, which if you have watched my unboxing of the One Touch 5TB, uh, I actually managed to crack the front of trusty kitchen knife and at least it's still in one piece and we have many adventures to go yet before it breaks so i'm not going to bother looking around the box it's just got some pictures some pictures of the case on both sides and the actual information of the case is uh actually covered with stickers so i can't really see that and we can already see the nice pink shining through there there it is look at that wow that really is um kind of pink isn't it Actually, I don't think I'm too bothered by it. If I were to stick it under a desk or something, I don't think it would really matter. So to get a budget case in that price range, especially to make an ITX build, so this is, supports ITX motherboards. So ITX is basically for small form factor builds. And there are a lot of people who like to make small form factor PCs. And this could be a great option if you are looking for that sort of size so let's just get this it is packaged quite well isn't it oh gosh okay now i was worried that at this price i thought maybe it's going to be like a refurbished item or something but it doesn't look like it's ever been opened it looks kind of brand new and pink's not very bright it's more like a pastel type color so there we have it how does that look? It looks okay. So I've just adjusted the camera a little bit so we can see the case a bit better. So let's just have a look at the front here. So we've got a headphone jack, a microphone jack, two USB 3.0 connectors, and we have a power button here on the top and looks like there's an LED. So this is the side vent. I believe this is for air for your GPU. And then we have the back. So what's interesting about this ITX case is it actually has space for a full ATX power supply. Now that might not be the best idea in the world considering there's not much space between the bottom of the mother, uh, sorry, the top of the CPU and the bottom of this power supply unit to insert a fan for the CPU. So that could cause some issues, especially if you have a big stock fan that comes with the CPU, you might need to find something which is a thin fan or maybe use an AIO. So it does actually have some space at the front for the AIO uh, fan to go. So we can have a look at that in a moment. And I'm guessing that, so these two here, probably for the PCIe Express and it's screwed together. We'd have to take that off to put that in. Put that in. I don't have a ITX motherboard right now, so I can't show you the build, but I just couldn't have resisted the price to see you know what this sort of case what size what this size it was and see how we can use it so this is obviously where the panel for your motherboard goes and on the other side we have another space for some more air and the front panel is here so the front panel is actually plastic this is metal uh, it's fairly light i'm not sure what that says for the build quality and i'm not sure if we should use it as a reference for the build quality and one thing i just want to add here is that before we open it up and have a look around inside uh, this is actually a mesh, so it can be used. There's no fan included in here. Another reason maybe why it's a budget case or so cheap, 
but you can actually fit a fan at the front here or your AIO or whatever it is you decide to put in there. So let me just grab my screwdriver and we'll open this up. Right, so I'm back with my screwdriver. Let's turn the case around again and see how the chassis comes off. So we've got some screws at the back here. So we're gonna take off this one, this one, this one, and this one. So let me just take those off. I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'm back in a second. Okay, so I'm back. I've removed the screws. They're sitting on the side over here. So one thing I just wanna point out is that I have checked to see like, you know, if there's any sharp edges now, the case actually doesn't feel very sharp. It looks like they've done a decent job of making sure that you don't cut your hand easily on these metal edges because with cheap cases, you normally have exposed sharp edges. I'm not saying that it's not sharp, but it's, you can see I'm doing that and it's not cutting me or anything. So, you know, it, it does feel a tiny bit sharp, but it's not something that's gonna cut you. Right, so I think we need to either pull this. No, is something missing? Have I missed a screw? So I removed all the screws. Okay, so here we go. Put a bit of pressure on that and it pulls forward and then I believe we just lift it off. Okay, so how does this lift off? I'm not sure here what's going on. I'm missing something obvious here. But there we go. Took a bit of jiggling, but we got there in the end. Right, let's just put that top cover to the side for now. Got some nice bedtime reading in there. If you want to fall asleep, please feel free to pause and read. And we have some screws which are attached here. Can I just, oh, it's actually just wire tied, so we can take that off quite easily. So these will probably be your motherboard screws. And let's just quickly take them off. Uh, I apologize if it feels like it's getting dark in here. Probably the wrong time of day to record. And I don't have any sufficient lighting as usual. So anyway, we can see there's some cable management stuff in there. There's some studs for the feet, I believe, or maybe the motherboard and some screws, right? Sorry, out of focus, there we go. Okay, and inside, so let's have a quick look inside. So we have, it really does look like it's got enough space, but we'll see, so this thing here, you can actually remove and you can get a bracket to add a SFF power supply here. And I would recommend a small form factor power supply or SFX power supply. Uh, will probably be more sufficient in this case, but I'm more than happy to try it and risk it with one of those ATX power supplies. The only, see the good thing about having the option to initially have an ATX power supply is that SFX power supplies are expensive, they're less available, and if you have an ATX power supply lying around in the, in, in the meantime, you can actually use that with this bracket that's pre-installed, or you can remove it if you are gonna use a SFX, and I think there's another bracket maybe that can be used for the SFX power supply. Or you can just leave it there if it's not getting in your way. So let's have a quick look inside and you can see here, we've got the USB 3 or the headers, right? All the power switches. I really wish they could, they would fix this. I, I really wish we could come with come with a more unified, I don't know, maybe just a connector like this for all of our front IO. I don't know what the problems with that is. And if we have a look here, you can see there is actually a mesh here. So that is gonna be used for your fan. I'm, I can't remember the size of the fan, but that looks like a, 120 or 140 millimeter. So I believe you can put 120 millimeter AIO in here as well. And that would probably be very handy uh, considering the size of this case. And you can also see here we have, can you see that? Yeah, there you go. So they, these four holes here, these are the standoffs for the ITX motherboard. So like, wow, the case is really light like this. And, and even this front panel, I believe it just clips off. Ah, it needs to remove these screws. So I'm not gonna bother doing that now because I don't intend to do anything with it. And let's have a quick look at the underside. We have some nice rubber feet and they, it does sit, it doesn't really move around as well. So it does sit nicely on the table. Assume you're gonna be putting one on the table. So if you have any questions about this, please do let me know. I'm waiting for an ITX motherboard to be delivered, assuming it ever comes into stock. And then maybe I'll do a build with this and I will use an ATX power supply. A big, I'll try and use a big one, see if we can see how big we can go. I don't think we'll get too far with that. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. So this is for hard drives, as far as I remember. So we can have two 2.5 inch SATA drives. So you can see the holes there for the 2.5 inch drives, or you can have one 3.5 inch drive. I'm not sure exactly which screws. I think these two, the, the drive will go underneath here, right? So if you have a look there, you can see uh, this is the bay for the drives. 
and you can actually remove this. Should we just quickly remove that and have a look? Give me a second, I'll be back. Let me remove, the, remove these four screws. One, two, three, four, back in a second. Okay, so the screws are removed. So we just pick it up like this, I believe, and remove. And now you're gonna say, okay, so I've removed my drive bay. Where do my drives go? Well, actually there's still one secret compartment left here at the bottom of the case. If you look at these four holes here, one, two, three, four, these are actually, this is actually space for a 2.5 inch SATA drive. How cool is that? So that opens up your entire case here. If you don't, if you want to add a bigger power supply, or if you want to just make, maybe put a thicker fan for your cooling, your obstruction is now gone. So anyway, hope that gives you a quick overview. I know you've probably seen lots of videos because like I said, it's not a new case, but in case you wanted to see what the pink one looks like, there it is. I'm not sure how good you're getting the color with this light slowly diminishing in my room, but it's more like a pastel color. It's not like a bright pink, well, it's bright pink, but it's not like, it's more matte than shiny, if that helps. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please do feel free to ask and do feel free to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.